Strokes gained off the tee this year. He's ranked 16th. Good club in his bag. Wow. From Sydney, Australia, our 2021 Rocket Mortgage Champion, Cam Davis. Tony, a few paces closer, 128. One birdie from the group already. Finau looking to add a second. Start where he left off. Okay, why not? Pinch is tucked off the right just three paces. Nine paces on. There is a false front here. A little ridge he's got to carry and navigate so it doesn't come off the front of the green. Just four feet for Finau up ahead here. These par fives, it's so important to take advantage of them, at least if we look at the last three winners of this championship. They dominated the par fives. Now aboard the 14th, that one for Eagle. To the 14th, and this is an Eagle attempt for Tony Finau. And navigating a little slope there, he's coming up. Ah, one ball. Had one earlier that lipped out, but Tony's going to pick up his third birdie in the early going here and join Ryder and Kim at the top of three under. Ball on the way at the par three, 15th for Tony Finau. Share of second, because just a moment ago at 15, that happened. Birdie number four of the round for last week's winner. Having made it through the 313 area code. 14, 15, 16 this week. Fina just drove it a couple paces into the rough here at 17. And this pin tucks six off the right hand side, 16 paces on. That one coming up well short. That's a good look here, Susie, for Tony Finau. Yeah, just easy little pitch shot for him. It spins a little quicker than he thought, but great shot. Get inside the hole. Five birdies through eight for Tony. Four and fifty-four yard par four. Drive magazine, fifty percent in drive accuracy this year on PJ Tour. But here, well, you don't necessarily need to be accurate off tee. Just get it out there as far as you can. Man, you know, I, I'm starting to see the rhythm and tempo again come from uh, Tony. It's looking great, Go. looking good. Ooh. It's got some zip on this one. Oh. Oh. You know, you know, That'll do. When it's going good, it's going good. <laughs> and now Tony Finau with his birdie putt to take the lead on the second hole, or his, or excuse me, the second hole, but his 11th. Four and a half footer, bucket for Mr. Finau. Watching it anxiously, Susie got a friendly little kick there. Yeah, he had a great kick, just avoided that left hand bunker. Tony birdied both of the par fives on the other side of the golf course, and they were tap ins. And he's aboard once again with a chance for an eagle. Misread there, I think. So many chances, opportunities. Has yet to miss a green today. One back of this man. Short par four. Just taking an iron off the tee. 
our leader at the eighth. Oh, yeah. Somebody liked it. Well, it's out to the right, though. Fowler locates the fairway. Finau up ahead. Long birdie attempt, about 40 feet here. And give it a run. Not a chance. I mean, I hit it close, but you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Not on a day like today. John Swan Tech, Susie Whaley out. Will Lowry Ruth Fowler in? Tony Finau off. Oh, oh, oh. Nice shot, Cody! Second tee with his drive. Keeping it up. <laughs> and we saw Cameron Young go the cart path route and hit it 400 yards. This more conventional 360. Second hole, excuse me. Second shot and second hole here on this 351 yard par four. Well, it was much more nicer. I would have expected that ball to go in from Brad. I'm still angry about it and wasn't even my shot. <laughs> Fino has a downhill. Left to right has to be mine. Has guard against the, the speed and going too far past. But however, he is staying in the guard. Yeah. I tell you, man. Here's Tony Finau, co leader after day one, one under thus far. As he makes the turn, starts at the 10th. See on the right hand side is a nice look of where those fairway bunkers are. So, foul. Fina with the fairway medal, just trying to skirt it through there. Does a great job. As we go to 10, and the winner last week at the 3M in the Twin Cities, Tony Finau. Get the feeling he can go on quite a run here the next couple of weeks in the FedEx Cup playoffs, Trevor, don't you? Sure do. He's coming in here with a ton of momentum. And that swing right there looked pretty pure to me. If, yeah, we saw that wonderful approach. Let's see if Tony can cash in and get himself within two. Oh, what, what an amazing amount of confidence Tony Finau is playing with right now. Saw him in the range a little bit earlier today, and he is very calm. Finau crushed this drive at 12. I mean, crushed it. 117 in. Yeah, 375 yard drive, Mike Tirico. Ah. You and I don't have that in the bag. <laughs> we probably also don't have the nice wedge <laughs> spinning it back off the Look ridge. At that. Wow. PGA Tour wins was the end of the playoff run last year when Cantley won BMW and then came back at Eastlake and won the Tour Championship to take the FedEx Cup. Tony rolls it in. Tony Fidel, look at this. I love watching this backswing. How does he do it, Trevor? All explosion right from the transition. Look how short it is. Watch the leg. Oh. Crushes it. Lowers down into that front leg and then just pushes so hard out of the ground. Sends that energy flying into the club head. Amazing. And does that more often than not. Finds the fairway. Oh, oh it hits that ridge a little bit. Okay. So Fina will have a look at Birdie to climb within one of the lead. The short golf season and watching the best in the world. And right now this guy is playing about as well as anybody. Tony Finau pours in another one. He gets to a dozen under par as he tries to chase down Taylor Pendrith with three birdies in his last four holes. After a really long wait, went in off the left. He's leaning, but I'm not quite sure why. It's right down the middle. Uh, it got two yards right of the center strike, mm. so that's why he was leaning. He's a little disappointed. They've overdone it. This one, it's a little lower out to the right, just a little bit. Sit right there, how fives that bunker. That won't be bad. Oh, 
That's pretty much expected. Yeah. More than 7,000 hits between Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb in Major League Baseball. 7,000. Tony Finau rolled in another one. By the way, next week, Sedgefield Country Club is right. also That's a Donald it. Ross course. Exactly. Boom! Oh. Holy moly! Now the tracer technology <laughs> provided by Trackman. Yeah. I do it, Tony. 292 in the air. He's got plenty of juice here. 246 to the front. Oh no. Duck. Oh no. That didn't get nearly far enough left. This flat lie, it's gonna help him. And he will have that to tie. He has found something with the flat stick. Captain of the international side for the President's Cup, keeping an eye on a few players in this field. Two again. Tony Fino with the driver as well. Brought the flight down here. This one headed up the right side and should be fine. He teed that way down. There was hardly any of the ball up above the, the face of the club there. So he was trying to hit that shot for sure. That was full bore, whatever it was. Yeah, it was way up in the air. But a little bit left. Oh, boy, that one sits down. Well, there's the third missed green of the week. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Is there anything he can't do right now? You know you're hot when you're making shots like that from off the green, Colt. And another fairway found for Finau. Mm. All right, underneath the hole, we'll have another good look at Birdie. Get into one of these purple patches and keep it, keep it going. He's been in that spot for about three months now, playing some great golf. And Here is another one. There you go. Three. That's a temporary tie at the top with Pendrick because Taylor has that little one coming up. But back to back birdies for Finau. For Tony, I think I noticed maybe teeing the ball a smidgen lower to squeeze out that fade. He's not looking for mega power, he's just looking to connect. I think the paddle man is all excited. That's perfect. <laughs> it's going to land his 777 down the seventh. Yeah, luck, is he still going to fade it, Dotty? Yes, that's a stock shot. Yeah, big high fade over. The... 214 to the front, front hole location here today. Uh, that will work. Pretty good from there. Then Finau will have a look at Eagle at the par five seventh. It's got a middle section where it kind of might go. It's a little steeper, but it definitely will go more to the right, his right. Nice. Nice, you can stress free. Stress free, easy four, wasn't it? Driving the five iron. Seems like he's always stress free. <laughs> I don't see him sweat very much. Upslope in the center of the fairway at about 250. Ideally, Nick, this finds the left half with that big hard one on the right that'll cut off the angle. Yeah. Just anything left to center is great. Yep. Tony second. <laughs> that's no eight iron, that's a gap wedge. <laughs> Both of these guys managed to find perfectly flat lies. Minor miracle on this fairway. Yeah, not too many flat lies around here, is there, Dottie? Lots of little micro contours. Finau looking to go back to back with wins last week at the 3M. 
Oh, I bet he can, Frank. You mm. might, might try and hit a tiny, tiny draw. Yeah, which he's done. Beautiful shot. So that's impressive. He's just working the ball enough, aiming down right side. So there's a man really in control of his game. Got the lead or tied. Basketball was uh, one of his first loves. Lob wedge there for Tony Frank. Spectacular. Oh. These guys are uh, really just hitting inside 20 feet on every hole. Settles in. And just like that, Tony Finau tied at the top. As Frank said, it is a perfect day to play golf. Just look at that, the little extension of the arms. It's, everything's feeling good. Autopilot. Sw yeah, swing your arms, clip it nicely. Golf ball's going where you want it to go, where you, where you intend. That's how you... Driving iron, Dottie. Yeah, that's a that's a beefed up three iron that he can still hit really high in. Not happy. Trying to sling it in there right to left. Not so much depends on the lie, but plenty of green to play with. Lots of going on around this little area here. The 15th, the 16th, all within 100 yards. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> well, Boyd uh, Summerhay said he'd been working on his short game. Well, I, I guess Boyd was correct. Tony pays attention to that stuff. Get that toe up maybe a little more than normal. It works. <laughs> Running up back to that flag. It's chasing. And we'll just crawl onto the front edge. That's a heck of a shot. It's a little steep right here. Oh, slow, and that's about six feet still to deal with. Third at 17 for Fido, and he's back in front by a shot. Now you see there in the top right, Tony's made powers in this hole every day. It's a good tee shot, he's got the power to get up. This one down the left side. I think it's going to find the left rough. Mm, oh, it's hanging. It's hanging. All right. First cut. Through his first six holes, but everyone's chasing this man, Tony Finau, his third at the par five fourth. It would lead to a birdie for Finau. Not trying to lift it up as much. Keeping it low. And Tony Finau almost holding that shot. That is a tap in birdie. And he will and he will have a tap in to get to 22 under. And that will be an easy tap. So Finau to 22 under par. And the tee shot for Finau. Been the toughest fairway for these guys to hit this week, but Tony Finau yeah. has been Fred Funk straight. <laughs> yeah, the paddle man guides that straight down, parks it right in center lane. But Tony's done it with a six iron in his hand, Breeze helping. Ideally, turn this thing over a little bit. Yeah, didn't want really to get too carried away. Oh, that's judged. Perfectly, isn't it? Wow, after the new six iron last week at the uh, 17th hole, that is yard perfect. Totally reasonable. No big break, no big slope. Confidence is as high as it's ever been for Tony with this club. Just doesn't get it there, but he'll tap in to get to 23 under par. So 
that's that's the key club for him and the way he's striking his irons is should be fine. Finau up by two, his second birdie of the afternoon. He gets to 23 under par. And the leader, Tony Finau, starts his back nine. What are the chances he goes? Four straight birdies here at 10. Well, if he finds the fairway, my money's on him. Oh, even gets oh, the chairman's kick right down there, another 20 yards, even closer. Until you've been, been on this golf course, you don't realize how remarkable that is. Only two yards long. Got to respect that, Frank. Uh, well, you really didn't want to go long. It only needed another kick forward. But Finau will have a birdie putt and a chance to get to 24 under. Tiny vertical spine in the middle of this green. Oh, one more round. Uh, four times in a row he's birdie 10. Yeah, and they're loving it here. We might just be seeing the best golf out of Tony Finau now in his early 30s. If he just puts it into that slot, I'm talking about that slot today, just release it and hold it. Our top tracer technology oh, powered by Top Golf. And a good shot there by Tony Finau. Both Finau and Pendrith in the fairway. It feels like temperature is more like 175. A flighted 175. Yeah, another one of these little low draws. Just didn't like the thought of pulling this one, but that is fine. Was that an oversized piano board, keyboard? Yeah, it must be. Get, <laughs> get those I mean, mitts on it. His hands are huge. Yeah. Going left with speed. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's a sweet tune at 12. Ding, I guess that was an A. Just the sixth birdie of the day at the 12th hole. Well, it's more of a factor today, and while we wait, let's go over to 14. Get in the 14. Here we go. Has he fanned it into that sand? Oh, that helps, Ian. Nice to be able to carry that bunker That's out here over 320. Help. Speaking of the leader. He's got 216 yards to go into the par five here at 14. Oh, how about that shot? Carried it all the way to the front edge of the green. Got it to land softly. At 14, Finau with a chance to really drop the hammer if this goes down. Back up the hill. Leaves himself with a tap in birdie. Four shot lead. Mashed potato! Come on, Tom! Oh, He's on this shot. <laughs> <laughs> the question was answered. Question answered. With authority. That's a beautiful drive. Two oh five to the front. I'm gonna land this about one ninety five. Kick right, right. Kick, kick right. He landed out about 207. Kept it on the green beautifully. All he was looking for. No need to get saucy with that one. Another birdie pushes into the 26 under. So far at the last will bring the victory. And the scoring record here. Wrap up the week here in Detroit. Going to be a scoring record for Finau, regardless of the outcome of this putt. But why not polish it off? Tap in for par at the last. In at 26 under. Back-to-back -back weeks. The title to Big Tone. Tony's wife. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.